Here we have the old Emac 12 volt water heater. Lasted about six hours, maybe seven. Looked a bit inferior when I bought it. Company's disappeared. So, guess we'll have to make one. It took a bit of doing, a couple hours one night, a couple hours another night. But, uh, first thing you do is get an old one. Right. Um, cut the old element off, give yourself an inch, remove all the plastic out the top, get a blow lamp, eat it up and pull the legs out. So that's got it nice and clean. Um, what else do we do? 8mm copper tube, that was the original size, they might vary, but 8mm copper tube. Oh, it looks a bit thicker with uh, water in it, it's magnified. Uh, it takes about a quarter of an hour to bring this up to 50, 60 degrees, but once it's in your tank, every degree is a free heat. Free few degrees anyway. Um, I got resistive wire. Right, now the resistive wire I bought was 1.25 millimetres thick. Now you've got to get your resistance right to your wattage. Right, which I'll come back to that. Uh, well, let's do it now. All right, so your resistance gives you ampage, and you times your ampage by voltage to give you your wattage. All right, I'm sure there's people on YouTube who can explain that. But this has got 0.5 ohms of a resistance. So 12 is divided into 0.5 gives you 24 amp. 24 amp times 12 is 288 watts approximately. All right, so that's how you do that. So what I start out with is a straight long length of copper tube and got some ceramic beads like just what children make necklaces out of like make sure the ceramic not glass because glass does hold heat where you want it to disperse it so slide all your ceramic beads on to your wire and then slide it in the tube well perhaps prior to that you can put one stud on it now the studs are 13 amp socket front screws long ones drill the end to 2 mil put it in the vise and crimped it really well, give it a good pull, make sure it doesn't come off right, then slide all your beads on right, you've got to work your resistors of your wire to your length, to your length of the copper tube which is not idiot proof but it can be done right, and then you crimp the other end on so you've now got a long straight tube with two crimp threads on each end right, where are we at on that? yeah, so next thing you do is get some wall filler some really fine powdery stuff, mix it up, get it really watery get one of them big fat old syringes like, and inject it into one end until it comes out the other and keep going at it for a little while making sure you, you're literally cramming it full you don't want any gaps in there at all because when you come to bend it if there's any gaps damn thing will kink so be sure you fill it full and then give it uh, three days to dry I mean you can even warm it gently with a blow lamp just to see if there's any moisture coming out the ends but right, well, anyway bend it to round a former get it to the shape you want and uh, off you go like I say, solder it back in to the original holes so we've got a two and a half inch boss here working any standard immersion in the UK and you've got the pocket for putting a stat in uh, or a control you could, in fact you could actually use a standard immersion uh, temperature control because pulling 24 amps you really want to put it through a contact to relay so again the Basundo on YouTube will show you but you could actually use a standard immersion thermostat to control the contact so you could set your temperatures and leave it to run I mean my usage for it pretty much is when the battery packs are full on a summer's day the inverter shuts down and that's when you get most of your heat or electric should I say so let's just dump into the immersion free hot water so there you have it, happily bubbling away again. 15 minutes brings that up to temperature. Right, but uh, go ahead and make one. You know, stop giving your money away. Bye bye, Mr. Amak.